How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Cross Out, where today's theme will be all about the Punisher thrown onto this banana wagon that KTM has come up with a long time ago and that they've been running it with in Clan Wars ever since. This video was actually requested to me by Neely Bubba, one of my patrons, one of my good friends and also a fellow content creator. He usually comes up with all sorts of crazy ideas and his first idea for this build was actually to throw this onto this build together with an omnibox cabin but i tried to build that and it simply just it became awkward looking so i felt like this design was a little bit more appropriate for this sort of style of build so i ended up actually just going with the regular banana build and i made a little bit of an extra wedge here on the front of it there because we only need three guns on this together with an aegis that i need to rebind because right now it is sitting on our perk from the cabin and we don't want that because we don't want to use both at the same time but that's pretty much all in the menu today so sit back and enjoy it and let's just get straight into some games and we got ourselves the first game of today's video i think we we want to stay we don't want to stay behind but we just want to want to see if we can engage together with our team because like any other machine gun the punisher is also a gun that has this bad habit of falling off the second someone looks at it which we don't really want that was an absolutely insane one shot kill there by hellgate which is um which is fine <laughs> we we will definitely take that just a butt hard carrying us here while we try to do something let's push with the team here to the left see if we can find something because i mean the punisher is by no means a bad gun it's just a gun that is it's rather squishy to say the least let's see if we can just oh. ow okay that is a probably son some mandrake realized that we just pushed i simply got wedged on him perfection Kill him, kill him, kill him before he shoots again. That's very scary. There we go. Okay, he just got to shoot one time. We have, like, some dude. And we just got yeeted by that. Oh, we're still fine. By the geyser, and there we go. We got yeeted by it again. Oh, did we dig on the dude? I don't know what just happened there, but we got out of it quite a lot, judging from the, uh, judging from the amount of people alive on my team still. So, nice one. <laughs> Let's see. Where is the last dude? It's a bot, so he probably ran to... Oh, no, he's actually... How did I miss that? Yeah, that's rather impressive. Let's see. Let's just wobble into combat here. Oh, the wheels don't really wobble that much. Not very good. But let's just push over here. I don't think we even used up her once, but it's all right. It's, it's, it's perfectly fine. I mean, once again, it worked out pretty well just staying with the team. So let's just keep on doing that for now. I'm not sure I like the, uh, the way that I modified this build because... The wheels are like i messed up the steering a little bit with the build in general you want to keep the wheels up for the most optimal turning with this build but you know we'll take it for now just don't shoot me nikki thank you so much oh and we also got to watch the gun depression here because it's actually not like it's not perfect perfect so we just want to watch out a little bit because the the punisher has such an awkward barrel like we are sort of you know not really allowed to shoot unless all four barrels have clearance it's it's better than the breaker was initially when that thing released but it's also worse than the breaker now after the breaker was changed but they didn't really decide to change the punisher punisher so the hitbox is just massive on the punisher judging or you know compared to something like for example the aspect which actually has a Oh, sorry about the homie uh, rather respectable hitbox still um so it's it's a really big gun and also considering the, the amount of hp that it has and everything uh can we push that hover over here let's do that see that it's actually rather hot my god the damage though that was insane let's just use the perk here while we can oops i clicked the wrong button gotta remember to tap fire these guns right here can we just take that skinner off of him Nice one. Oh goodness me, that is that is a oh what on earth is that? Oh god. Oh not really optimal there. Perfect. Something hit me there, I'm not really sure what hit me. I think it was some pokes maybe, but we still have our guns and we still have our shields, so I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Let's roll back into combat now that we are we're safe here for just a second good decloak there 
Very good decoke there. Hope we have something in here. Hope we do. Still see him down here. There we go. Shield up. Degun him. Nice one. Easy little degun there when you have your punishes, especially against Sculpins. They actually follow quite easily. That was another good game, actually. That was a really good game. <laughs> and another one. This time on Nameless Tower. Where does the team want to go? Let's just see. Let's watch and observe. And then let's just uh, try to stick with them. I'm loving these colors, by the way. I definitely have to get these for my personal account so that I can... Whoops. Start using this paint job on them. This looks so good. It's a nice... Nice little color combination. Oh my god, those butts just annihilated each other. <laughs> that was rather insane. Uh, where do where do they want to go? I hear some spa action going on over here, and I see some sculpting action going on over there. I don't want to I don't want to put myself out there completely. Oh my god, the butts are just dying left and right. What is this? <laughs> I feel like some of those new bots that they introduced to the game, while it is nice to see a new set of bots, some of them are literally just pretty much walking bombs at this point. Oh, sorry, mate. I feel like it's a long range fight at the moment. So let's just go run around and have some fun. Shoot some MGs out into the open space. Maybe we get a little bit of damage in. If we do, then we're lucky, then it's all good. No, oh, I see a target here. Who's that? Well, that's another bug. Darn it. Popping the shield here for absolutely no reason because it's usually shielding in front. So, you know, all of those enemies were behind us. We didn't really get so much, but it's fine. Sit here, tap fire a little bit, claim that kill. Very nice. Very, very nice. I think we have something cloaked there. No, we don't. Oh. Nasty hit there. I mean, they are just sitting up there. There we go. Oof. Okay. Something pushed down here now. Oh. I see plenty of enemies there. I do not suspect that they still have someone up here. So I actually don't really have any idea why I ran this way. But you know, it's fine. I don't want to brawl with that spider over there. Because he has... I think he has porcupines or something. But I'm also really not... Ow. That was not porcupines. All right, I just crashed into a wall there. Big brain. There we go. Very nice. Oh, spider again. Out. He shut my bum there and read really it too nice of him. Out. That was also very rude. Out. That was also very rude. We are getting getting a little bit wounded here. Let's keep going for now. And then let's see what we can do about this. Very nice, very nice. He shot straight into the shield. There we go. Can we get the D gun on them? Dude. Oh! He took a big hit there. Oh no. Oh no. Out. D gun. Oh. Good hit. Good hit. Let's just keep him pinned here. See? Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right. Well, we have four people left. They have two. My sense is it's going to be fine. Um, Do we just go pull the demo on one of them? I feel like we do. Let's do that. That's a big brain play. We just need to find them. Oh, good hit there. Over there again. Let's see? Nice little shield there. Oh, no, we didn't get it. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Going for one more here on power plant this time. And looks like we got almost full teams this time, which is... The, did I just see main... Oh, I hear main drake shots at least. So they do have a main drager. Let's see if we can one shot for that just a little bit here. Okay, that was very, very, very close. <laughs> it's rather scary. Rather scary. But it's fine. What is that coming in here? Some random breaker but to see if we can get a little bit of a d-gun going on him there we go you see one boulder out of flute player there anymore that's just oh god watch out for those uh watch out for those scorpions shooting us down there 
right? So we have both of their butts down. It always makes a little bit of a difference. I actually feel like you, you it's pretty nice to get them down because at least then we have our butts, which can act like meat shields, if nothing else. Can we just get at least one gun off that dude? Ow. Okay, we lost one. They have a lot of scorpions on that team. Like, they have a lot of scorpions on that team. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Oh, ram into that wall. That's not really too bright. Oh, God, that was scary. Oh, homie, I'm trying to sneak behind here. Oh, that dude is D-gun. That dude is not D-gun. He's giving me my shield. There we go. Very nice. Oh, no, he's so going to take those. He's so going to take those guns. Please? How much HP does that thing have? Wow, okay. That thing literally has endless HP. Literally endless HP. Or I just, just not hit did just not hit it. But I mean we, we, we got something done here. I am not an MG player. I mean I wish I was, but I won't be until they give these things some more HP or just something that will make them just a little bit more viable. Just give us anything. I mean we're gonna go in now for a solid demo here. And we're literally going to get more done than we would, like, had we first of all demoed, but then we would have done with those MGs anyway. So you could make yourself, like, just make yourself a massive kamikaze build and then you'd be fine. <laughs> but that was it for the Punisher banana thing. I still don't think, like, especially not this setup. This setup won't really be able to pull its full potential because you won't be able to the 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 philosophy behind the banana is all of that you can just endless fire with the arbiter but if you want to have these on the triple setup i mean then you you will have enough energy to just be able to endlessly fire these but the spread is huge if you do that like it's bigger than the arbiter as well i think um and meanwhile if you want to run three of these with no Aegis, then you can also say goodbye to your guns within the matter of seconds, which is also not really ideal. Um, so you kind of lose that most of it with this and the firing angles on these are also worse than the Avatar and the, the hitbox is bigger than the Avatar. So do I recommend this all in all, get yourself punishers and punishers and play it like this? Probably not. I would go for a Helios style hover, you know, those big Helios. Is, uh, where the guns are highly mounted for something like this, still with an Aegis, or I would go for a spider where you can really just box these in like a lot and put a lot of armor behind bet between them or you know around them because I, at the end of the day, I feel like that's where you're going to get the most of them. They're going to be way too vulnerable on a build like this, and you don't really have that instant punch of damage that you can deal with the Avisar and that just the constant damage coming in all the time. So all in all, not my biggest recommendation, but at least it's it's a fun build to run around with, nevertheless. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video. Have a good one until I see you again. Bye-bye.